Really hope you've been with us this week, Matthew 25, a week of urgency. Again, asking and answering the question, are you ready? We've been walking through the parable of the ten virgins. Jesus has a very specific purpose within this passage. He wants us to be prepared. Just to recap for you, ten virgins representing the people of this world, the bridegroom's Jesus Christ, the marriage feast is really the entranceway into heaven. The wise virgins, they had oil. They got in. They were ready when the bridegroom came. The foolish virgins, they were not ready. They did not have oil. And here's what we find out happened. Tragically, it says in verse 10, Matthew 25 says, and while they were going to buy, that's the foolish virgins trying to buy the oil. It says this, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut. And then verse 11, afterward, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But imagine, just listen to these words. But he answered, truly I say to you, I do not know you. Okay, what Jesus is telling us right now is the truth. Some people don't want to hear this, but see, if you really are loved and if he really loves us, he tells us what is true. The reality is if you wait till Christ returns, it's going to be too late. Jesus says the door will be shut. But here's the good news today. Here's the wonderful news of the gospel. The door is not shut. As of right now, the door is open. Jesus Christ, the living water. Jesus Christ, the bread of life. Jesus Christ, the great I am. Jesus Christ, the door to heaven itself. Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus Christ holds the keys to death in Hades. Jesus Christ speaks to you today and says, if you believe in me, if you surrender your life and your sins to me and you ask for forgiveness, you will be saved forever. The door is wide open open. That is such good news. And then Jesus ends with this then. He says, I'm coming. He says, I'm coming. And then verse 13, he says, for all of us right now, listen carefully, watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. See, we don't know when Christ is going to return. No one can say this is exactly when it's going to happen. We don't know. God the Father does. But we must be watching and we must be ready. So we wrap up this week. Matthew 25, again, it's been encouraging, exciting, and challenging. What do we do as believers? Well, I got a few suggestions for us right now, okay? As those who follow Jesus Christ, number one, you got to walk with wisdom. You got to walk with wisdom. He needs to be the priority. What in your life needs to fall to the side? What needs to be brought to the surface or brought to the center? If we understand that Jesus Christ is returning at any moment, it causes us to walk with wisdom. We don't want to be foolish. We want to be wise. That's a good one. We do this also. We wait with vigilance, right? What what does that mean? We're alert. We are waiting for the return of Christ. We are awake, we are alert, we are ready, we are watching, we are waiting for him to come. We are living in such a way that we know this is true. We must wait with vigilance. And then this, we must watch with urgency, right? Watching, live for the kingdom. Don't waste your life. Don't refuse to let every day go by and watching another TV show and more Netflix or whatever it is. Live for Christ. Watch with urgency urgency. And here's the last one. Here's a good one. You want to be ready? Worship the king, right? Worship the king. Here's a great question. What do you want to be found doing when Jesus Christ returns? What do you hope Jesus Christ catches you doing when he returns on the clouds? I mean, some of us are going to be doing stuff where like, man, that's so embarrassing. I mean, playing video games or just like another slothful day on the couch. Please, Lord. No, 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 no. Let's worship the king because he's the only one worthy of our worship. 1-866-273-4444. Call us and begin life eternal with Jesus Christ.